Hi everybody, this is Phil Briscoe. It is uh, Saturday the 26th of November 2022 and we're here at Meadowlands today uh, on a Golden Rod Feeder Championship Qualifier. Uh, full house, all 60. Um, great attendance on these matches I might say. It is a feeder only match so that's it. You can't use a pole, you can't use uh, wagglers or whatever it is out now. Feeder only uh, tactics. Uh, and we've got in today uh, Warren Lake uh, here at Meadowlands and Lansdowne. Uh, now then, um, a lot of rain got in this week. I've got to say, it's been a horrifically horrible week weather-wise and it turned it down with water. So, uh, that might change a few uh, pegs on the day. We'll have to wait and see. Fish do swim about. Uh, talking to Mick Bull earlier, he said certain pegs are... Uh, we're out and out flyers, but you never know with all this rain that's gone in, they might not perform. But um, we made a quick note as the draw is now completed. Uh, and we've got uh, Al uh, Holton on uh, peg 55 on Lansdowne, that's a known flyer. Uh, we've got Steve Rose on peg 57, another flyer. Uh, and Steve Brindley, who I know well, uh, good angler, he'll be dangerous today on 58. Um, then we've got uh, on the other sheets here, Lansdowne again, Darren Picton on 43, that's a flyer. Uh, 48, Sam Brown, well we all know Sam and how dangerous Sam can be. Uh, he's come out of hibernation for this one, drawn 48 on Lansdowne and he will be dangerous. Uh, and then um, Phil Cannings, paid on on the morning, bought somebody else's ticket, rolls up late, does a late draw. What's he drawn? Probably the most dangerous peg on the venue today, peg 27 on Lansdowne. Yeah, Phil Cannon's gone and drawn a flyer. That's not unusual. Uh, so there you have it. So, they'll be out fishing any type of uh, feeder today, be it a method feeder, open end, little three uh, hole cage feeders, that sort of thing. They'll be fishing long and certainly down the edges as the day goes on. Uh, weight wise, who knows? I don't think it'll be a massive weight today. But I still think you're going to need, my, my, my guess is probably between 80 and 100 pounds to, to, to win. Uh, but three go through, uh, 60 pegs, uh, each zone of 20, one qualifier goes through to the grand final. Last time we were down here, you got through to the final with weights like 30 odd pounds. You know, if you're on a particularly um, difficult area, you're in it all the way, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, may well get you through. So. There you have it, we're fishing 10 till 3, uh, and just for the record, these lads uh, are looking to get into the um, final in March at Arthur Blakes, and it's a £32,000 payout in all, uh, and the winner overall over the two-day final goes away with a smacking 10 grand. That's Phil Briscoe here at Netherlands. Right, I'm on the Golden Rod qualifier today, down at uh, Meadowlands. I've drawn Lambsdown 22, looks a nice peg. Sun's going to be in my eyes to start with, but uh, hopefully the sun will move round. Uh, I've just set two lines up, a long line and a short line. Long line at about 45 metres and a short line at about 15. Uh, I'm just going to keep it simple, just stick to the two lines all day, just try and find out what's best. Uh, I'm just going to fish a method all day. I ain't bothered with a cage feeder or anything like that. I'm fishing to win the match or win, at least win the zone. So we'll give it a go, see how it goes. So here we have Adam Jones on peg 36 of Lambsdown. He was the first person to catch. Um, literally within a couple of minutes, chucked it out. And fair play, a little bit lucky it's gone straight round. There was a few early fish caught, but to be honest with you, it was quite slow going. So obviously, like we discussed, really cold uh, rain we've had loads of it it's gone into the lake and obviously the water temperatures dropped loads really windy it was pretty cold to be honest with you even with me walking around in loads of clothes and even I felt cold so pity what the anglers must have felt like
Taysom White done well. He um, was on peg 49. Got one short on the method, and then he's just chucked the method maybe 50 ish, 60 yards. And he's caught there, just been patient. Let's call cool. this one short. Now definitely fit and healthy fish. And again, Adam Jones back in again. Caught well to begin with, bless him, but the fish just faded away. Wind blow, a cold wind blowing into his corner. So it doesn't take money to do away here. The nails in. Fishing the method about sort of like 50 yards. I didn't focus too much attention around Warren to be honest with you. I just stayed at Lambs Down. This is Nick Speed. So we're about 40 minutes into the match. Neil McKinnon's just caught one on peg 22. It is very cold. Oh, poor guy's just come off. I don't think it's very big to be honest. I don't think it was a car. The lad here's had one, about seven pound. Phil Cannon's had a skimmer. Right, we're an hour and 40 minutes into the match. I've just had one bite on the long line. The carp about seven or eight pound. him we feed along. Um, I'm giving it about 12 minutes each cast. Um, I think the one bite I had came on about 9 or 10 minutes so um, I'm not getting loads of signs so I think it pays to just leave it in and be patient so see how it goes. It was noticeable that a lot of people were fishing like bigger baits or obviously like wafters, maybe bread, bits of meat. Because um, a lot of the anglers weren't fishing for skimmers at all. So a lot of people just did sit out for carp. I'm not sure, like obviously if the skimmers were really having it, I guess they, people would have caught bigger stamp fishing, obviously with wafters. But uh, they didn't seem to feed, I guess just the same as the carp. You know, obviously the water temperatures dropped a lot so they, they didn't really have it. Graham West had a nice bag of silvers. I think he had about £16. The problem is these carp are obviously very big and get wiped out very quick so I can see why a lot of anglers have targeted these fish. Quite a lot of anglers use like hybrids as well. 
got hybrids long, as in hybrid feeders, and their method short. And then a lot of people had a, like a, a baiting rod, so like with a big um, open feeder to like feed their short line, like a couple of hours into the match. Because obviously you're not allowed to feed anything by hand or catapult, so everything's got to be introduced by the feeder. I didn't see any fish get caught down the edge, but there was a few fish late caught short, like the sort of five, six metre line. When I say late, I mean like last sort of 20 minutes. Walking back, and you can see both anglers playing skimmers. I imagine that small bags here could be absolutely phenomenal. The nail did drop short. I can see why these events are so popular because like today there's, you know, you only needed like half a dozen fish, five fish to potentially qualify. So you would like potentially always in the race, so you didn't didn't want to give up. Didn't see anyone packing up early. Well, I didn't. Um, you know, with, with a low weight affair like this, you know, literally anything could happen. As you can see, the fish do fight hard, so most anglers will be fishing 020, 022 at Vamps. Right, it's the end of the match now. I've ended up with uh, four carp uh, and about four or five skimmers. It's been an okay day. I think I'm just going to miss out. I think the best weight that we've heard of is five carp and some skimmers, so we'll just wait and see. But it's not been too bad a day, a bit cold, but it is winter fishing. I'll start with the sections first, there's some default sections here. Um, right, section A, he's taking his section, well, I'll tell you it was, it was John Jones on peg nine, uh, he was on pegs 3 to 15 on Warren with 46.8. He's gone. Uh, section B uh, was John Makin um, from peg uh, 18. It was Warren 18 to 36 with 37.4. John's taking this as well, I think. Yeah. He's gone. Right, peg uh, section C. Uh, that's pegs 1 to 14 on Lansdowne with a weight of 38.8 was Paul Fox from peg 1. Well done, Paul. Uh, section D, uh, by default, 
Weight of 39 pound 8 from peg 22 on Lansdowne, that's 16 to 29 as a section. Neil McKinnon. Cheers, well done, Neil. Well done, mate. Thank you. Very well done. Top. Uh, Double default. <laughs> section E. That's pegs 36 to 49 on Lansdowne. From peg 36, Adam Jones with 43 pound. Adam Jones. Well done, Adam. Well done, mate. Um, section F. Um, with a weight of 48.12 from peg 55, his section was 51 to 65, was L Holtham. I think you qualified as well, so don't run off. Right, uh, I'll start with the overalls now, lads. Uh, right, in fifth place, from peg 54 on Lansdowne with 49 pound, Peter Harris. Well on Peter, don't run off because you've qualified as well. Okay. Alright, so Thank just you. hang on because I'm in a photograph. Alright. In fourth place, with a weight of a level £50, from peg 46 on Lansdowne, Jason White. Well done Jay. Yes, thank you. Well done mate. Uh, third overall, from peg 26 on Lansdowne, with £51.12, Phil Cannon. Has he gone? I'm with him now. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, uh, second overall, with £52.10 from Peg 27 on Lansdowne, Gaz Donaldson. Oh, well done, Gaz. And of course, you've qualified, so don't run off for a second. Uh, and the winner today, with a weight of £69, 8 ounces, from Peg 10 on Warren. Zach Williams. Well done, Zach. Of course, he's qualified. So, can I have the three qualifiers, which are to confirm Zach Williams, peg 10 on Warren with 69.8. Qualifier number two, Gaz Donaldson from peg 26, Lansdowne with 52.10. And the third qualifier, Pete Harris from peg 54, Lansdowne, 49 pound. So, if you can just have them for a photograph. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Here's a few photographs of the guys. There's Neil and his four cart for £30, which is over, and then a few skimmers. Bill Cannon was a little bit, well, very unlucky to be fair not to qualify. The guys just picked him off the next peg. And there's all the weights on that section.